believe it or not, there's a right way and a wrong way to crack an egg. So I'm going to show you both ways and then explain why one way is correct and one way isn't. So first we're going to start with the incorrect way to crack an egg. You'll see it on cooking shows, you'll see it in movies, on TV shows, on blogs, on YouTube. Um, but people's tendency is to crack an egg against, say, the side of the bowl. And then drop the contents into the bowl. Or maybe they're going to crack it against the counter or the side of the cutting board. Again, crack, put into the bowl. Now the problem with this is when you crack an egg on a sharp surface like this, you end up pushing pieces of the shell into the egg. The problem with this is if there's any bacteria, anything on the outside of the shell, it's now inside your egg. Another problem is you can end up with little teeny pieces of shell in your egg. So when you crack on the side of the bowl and then into your batter, which you never should do, you should always crack and then into a small bowl, check for pieces of shell or anything and make sure the egg is good. But when you do that, you can end up with little pieces of shell, shell fragments in your batter, in your bowl. Another problem with cracking on a sharp surface and pushing the edges of the eggshell into the egg is that you can actually puncture the egg yolk, which you don't want to do if you're frying an egg or poaching an egg or pretty much anything. You don't want to puncture the egg yolk. So you don't want to crack on the edge of a sharp surface of a bowl, a pot, a counter, anything like that. Instead, the correct way to crack an egg is to hit it on a flat surface, so your countertop, your cutting board. Just wrap it a time or two, and then use your thumbs to just gently pull it apart and drop it into your bowl, or separate, or whatever it is that you're doing with your egg. So you always want to crack your eggs on a flat surface, then into a small bowl, check for pieces of debris, check the egg is good, um, and then add it to your batter or your bowl or your pan or whatever you're doing. So I hope this was helpful for more tips and tricks on eggs and chickens and everything in between. Make sure you check out my blog, my books, and my other videos.